hey guys what's up everyone welcome or welcome back again to yet another video from the apex predator billiards training club my name is apex Elenio, your aspiring professional pool player and pool instructor now in today's match we're gonna be facing off here with shane uh shane that is jamaica the jamaican svb that's what he calls himself in a race to seven eight ball matchup here now in previous tutorials previous videos you would have seen where Shane pretty much has my number at the moment. He's playing really good. His shot making ability is really his uh, his his uh, go to skill set, right? So let me see what I could come up with here in this match. Um, he really did play very well in this match, but I'm not going to give you too much information. I'm just going to allow you to watch and see how excellent both players can play he definitely really put a number on me in this one but you know just as how i show my success i like to also show my failures because it's all a part of the learning process so here we go touch face hoping for a great match money is on the line starting off with the lag and let's see if i can win at least the lag here and i was very successful in getting that done apex lenny has won the lag and i was and has also won the break all right guys do not forget to hit the subscribe button below turn on your post notification bell leave some positive questions and comments down below and of course do not forget to share any aspect of the video any part that you find that was excellently done and of course please be sure please be sure to leave your thoughts opinions suggestions down in the comment section it most likely will help us all to grow because this channel is mainly for developing my game the players around me developing their game and at the same time it is also to learn from you in um, based on your how you view the particular content being posted all right so we're gonna be starting off with the break just getting the table cleaned here and uh, it's poised to be a very interesting match you know me and Shane Shane and I had we have had many battles many many battles we've been playing we've been learning this game since we were in high school probably about probably about age 19 we have had many battles I have won some he has won some but over the past year Shane has significantly improved his game to a level um that is almost incredible at the moment and there is just so much more to learn um and as we continue to improve here so let's hope that i can get a good start we already know that the break is the single-handedly most important aspect of running out getting down getting settled so a good break requires i will almost show good result now i got a good spread but unfortunately then uh the cue ball has been deposited into the pocket giving shane a fairly open table here a couple of problems to solve it's not a, it's not a cosmo rock but shane will work his way through the rock here he decided immediately without second thought to go for the solids so it's just gonna pop this six stun out towards the middle of the table not too bad he has a look at the three into the side i'm not sure if the if the five passes the two so he's gonna walk around and just take a look you know one of the most important things when it comes to playing eight ball because it's such a strategic game is to try to is to try to keep your cue ball on a leash less movement of the cue ball makes the game easy and the simpler you play the game is the much better it will be so Shane is just trying to find stop shots, follow shots, possible draw shots, stun shots, anything that will minimize the movement of his cue ball. And if you notice throughout the whole entire match, once there's an opportunity to run out by either players, we try to keep the cue ball at minimal movement. You can see just a couple of stun shots, draw shots, follow shots there. Now Shane got a nice little bump on that 15, which kind of open up the eight a little bit but it's not clear i'm not entirely sure if the eight can actually pass the 11 ball here so let's see sheen is down going to be putting the three trying to play position for the seven obviously here it's gonna roll it's a little bit slow oh this is not good 
this is not good he's a little bit off angle so he has fallen out of position but as i said to you before one of sheen's biggest strength that i have observed and that i've taken from his game is actually his ability to just pot balls it doesn't matter where it is he gets down he finds the line of aim and he pots now he has a very acute cut shot here into the side somewhat off straight so he's just gonna roll it nice recovery shot there by shane now it's gonna be a little bit tricky to get back from the one here you see he went around to have a look at the eight ball to see if it passes now there's a little space so i'm not sure if he's gonna play position or he's gonna try to break it out but let us see what the result of the decision is going to be here he's going to be potting the one into the corner oh such a nice shot there what a brilliant shot there by shane excellent excellent breakout there by shane to get a clean pot onto the eight here now he's kind of stooping so it's not entirely a full pocket that he has so he's gonna have to take his time focus remain composed and just knocking this eight for the win really nice break and run out well not a break and run out but a nice a really nice table clearance there so shane is off to a really decent start he's off to a really decent start here and that's the ideal way that's the the, the best way that you can actually start a match letting your opponent know that you're here and you are ready to play now of course there is not much that i can do that was an absolutely horrific break shot that break shot literally did nothing for me and with that scratch i didn't really expect anything less you know eight ball is one of those types of games where you miss at a very crucial point in the rock there's very limited options for safety it's not like nine ball and ten ball where you're going after the, the, the same ball once you miss and your opponent's layout is pretty good, you are most likely going to be punished if they are very good at running rocks. Nevertheless here, it is a race to seven. It is still early days. Let us see what Shane comes up with here. And he's going to be absolutely trying to demolish me as we have always been doing over the years. All right, guys, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Hit the like button and leave your thoughts and comments down below. Here we go. Shane with another powerful break shot here. Really, really nice. Getting a ball down, which is important. That side rail break seems to work for him very well. Uh, I'm not sure his level of success when it comes to the break. But I know that most of the times when he doesn't put a ball, it usually sometimes become very clustered because he does hit that second ball really solid and really square now uh for me personally i break from the side rail but there are times also where i break in between the spot and the side rail like a like a not like a 10 ball break that's what i would normally use for the eight ball i get very good spread but nevertheless here let's have a look at what shane's decision here is gonna be uh, I believe a couple of balls went down give or take probably about two so Shane is gonna go for the solids it seems I do apologize for the angle of the camera here but we'll see what the result of the cue balls position is after the pot all right so he pots the five ball I believe or he pots the three pardon me and holds position for the six now everything is laying pretty good the only possible problem here might be the five ball here. So it's going to be interesting to see how he gets onto that five. All right, he knocks, he plays one rail, bumps into the 13 to hold for position. Now he has the seven to the side. So it's personal preference here. Does he play for the set? Does he pop the seven and play position for the two? You see him walking around having a look. It doesn't look to be dead straight in so there's going to be a little bit of movement on the cue ball here oh no it is straight in my apologies it is straight in so is he gonna roll he is he's just gonna roll and maintain an angle from the four so that maybe he could stun out for the two or there's many options here couple of options so let's see what she's looking at obviously he's going to be potting the two 
and he's per perhaps going to be trying to get onto the one from now i'm not sure if the five passes the 12 it does so he's going for the one or is it the five i think he's okay i don't he doesn't seem to be very concerned about the five so he's he's not very hesitant so that's okay so it looks like he's playing with stun and he's going for the four and he le he leaves himself with a nice angle here so he's just trying to keep it simple as you can see minimal movement on the cue ball just gonna perhaps just roll this or stun follow this into the reel and back out just get off the reel a little bit oh he got off the reel a lot so that makes it really easy for him to bridge and play clinical position here so he's just walking around the team just looking at the options that are available the easiest route doesn't want to do too much don't want to use too much spin if he has to if he doesn't have to pardon me so just knocking that in coming down with a bit of right side spin here rolls a little heavy but it's still okay and this was a very very clean clinical run out to stamp his authority in this match so far i've only gotten one shot on the table which is my break shot and i am two nil down two racks down can't do much there can't say much there shane is playing really well i have to just pretty much stay in my chair or in this case on the stool and just wait for my opportunity at this moment here uh shane is coming with the goods he's showing up but let's hope that he can continue to run out the rocks here do uh also check out the other contents that are available for you on the channel um we have various rock analysis videos bang shot videos kick shot videos i do a wide variety of contents on the channel but for the most part here i've been on the circuit playing a lot of pool so i've been recording my matches and showing you my success and also my failures all right so let's get right here into rack number three where shin's gonna break off and obviously he's trying to drive the nail into the coffin for another rack here so so far nice clean pool uh very good pattern play very good positional play keeping the game simple again that side rail break cuba got a little bit out of control so that kind of suggests that he definitely didn't hit that second ball as squarely as he should once you hit that second ball square with a bit of low left or low right depending on the angle of the break you're gonna find that that cue ball goes into the side rail if you hit it with stun or center it goes back into the cluster for example where the 14 13 and 6 is and if you hit it with low right it tends to come back towards the middle of the table down to the bottom half so shane uh hasn't landed too pretty here didn't get a really nice break he has a cluster with the 13 the 14 and the 6 let's see what he decides to do here he, he's looking at the two so he's gonna perhaps try to cut it maybe use the angle to do the breakout i'm not certain oh no he's not going for the breakout he's just trying to keep it simple but oh that could be the first blunder can he see the four i'm not sure what he was trying to play for was he trying to play for the four i think he was trying to get into the window between the nine and the seven but the cue ball got a little bit high and went in between so it's wedged between the 14 and the 7 and so there's not much options here you can see him having a look to see if he maybe could graze past the 14 to knock in the 4 but there's nothing there so let's see he's gonna have to play a safety so he's he's trying to do something here let's see there's not much place to hide for him so he's perhaps just going to try to develop one of his balls here you can see that he just kind of moved that 7 ball um away from the cluster which kind of makes it a key ball to perhaps maybe later break out the 6 14 and 13 
So he couldn't he couldn't do much there. But Apex Elenio here has gotten his pretty much first opportunity at the table. There's some problems to be solved. I also have the problem of the 13 and the 14. And I don't really have a breakout ball here. So I'm going to have to knock in a couple of balls and see how the pattern lays out. I'm going to be potting the 10 into the top right. So I'm playing with stun. Coming back out to the left side of the table. I have two pots. I have the 11 and I have the 12 into the side. It's going to be tricky because the 9 ball ties up with the 5 and the 8. It doesn't have a pocket. So how do you get out? What do you do in this situation? Kind of stooping down and having a look at what I can do here. Couple of options. Maybe just knock this one in and see what happens. Okay. Kind of rub the third, the 11 ball there a little bit. So that's not too bad. Not sure if I have an angle. This is a tricky rack. It's not a rack that you can safely say it's a guaranteed run out. It's not even looking too pretty. It's going to be very interesting to see what I do here. So, just bumping that nine ball. Okay, so I decided to not go on the offensive. I was actually trying to tie up the 11 with the three, giving Sheen more problems to solve because that's what eight ball is really all about if you cannot run the rack you've got to try to create some problems for your opponent to solve you can't really leave the table as open now that wasn't the best execution there because Shane can still see the three my 11 ball is definitely tied up so Shane has an insurance for later he's going after the seven ah oh, he used a beautiful check sides there Knocking out the five. What a great shot. Developing that five. Now he has a pot on the three. He's going into the 11. So you can see he, he's having a look at negotiating the bump into the 11. He's playing with draw. He's going to draw off the 11 here. Just nudging it here. Nicely done. Oh, this is good. This is really good. That check side spin here that he used to knock out the five was very well executed there just developing that five opens up the table for more possibility here so let's see what sheen does here he's he has a pot on the five so is he gonna do like a little breakout here he has an angle to go towards the side rail and again he's using some low inside spin here oh what a shot absolutely brilliant I had to applaud that shot. What a breakout. I don't know what he did there. I think maybe he used center high. I don't know. Maybe a trace of right spin on the cue ball. But that was brilliantly executed. And he landed dead perfect on the one here. Oh, nice. Nicely done there by Shane. What a pretty shot. What a pretty shot. Excellent execution. So far, I've gotten three shots on the table. Tried to create some problems for Sheen. Didn't work out. Sheen played a brilliant shot to break out the cluster of the six. Knocking in the four. Coming over for the six. I doubt that was the position that he actually wanted. I think maybe he wanted it into the side. But, you know, that's why it's so important to have very good shot making ability. When you fall out of line... You have to be able to make shots. So Shane can get it into the side. But he's going to just pop the six. Draw into the side rail. And back out to the middle of the table. Oh. Oh that was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. Very well executed. Shane is in total and full command of this match. 2-0 up. Every time that he got to the table he is capitalizing on the mistakes made it doesn't have to be a miss shot he capitalized on rock one after the break and he 
break and run in rock two and after an attempted after an attempt to create some problem for Shane he definitely got his chance once again and played a brilliant pot and break out the cluster to run that rock so three nil down really really excellent gameplay here hit the like button if you love how she is playing and believe me when i tell you this is sheen at his best very good shot maker i believe he's around the age of 30 or 31 i'm not sure we've been playing pool both of us have been learning since we were in high school or we just left high school so we've been playing for the better half of 10 years or 11 years and we have worked really hard to get to this level but again i haven't got much chance so all i can do is really sit down in the chair and hope that shane makes that mistake that odd mistake that's as much as i can do at the moment but i'm on the back foot here it's a race to seven sheen is up three zero and shooting really clinical really eloquently and he's articulating himself quite well on the tail let's see how his break shot is got a little bit wild the last time but that was a lot more control on that couple of knocks couple of kicks here got him down table again more clusters more problems to solve and this is why i would see to see a lot of the players here in jamaica we love to play eight ball i particularly love to play 10 ball that's my favorite game but most times if you were to visit this country to play a couple of games you you will get nine ball games ten ball games from advanced players but from the amateur level players or the players that play for uh that play for money or playing tournaments most likely you're gonna find that eight ball is what they're going to opt to play so shane let's see here didn't didn't look like he potted a ball on the break Oh, okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so Shane did not put a ball on the break. So, this is now my third approach to the table. I haven't really done much wrong. Just a scratch on the break and a miss safety there. And I'm down by three rocks to zero. Trying to make something happen there. I try to pop that ball into the side. Open up the cluster. It's not too bad. It has opened up the cluster more for Shane than it is for me. Because I have that 7 ball. That is in a tricky, tricky position. I'm already looking at it to try to figure out. How am I going to solve to get that 7. Now there's a bank available from the 7 literally. Unless I'm going to somehow develop. So let's see here okay so i'm actually stripes i'm actually stripes i actually thought i was solids so shane has the problem with the seven so after that attempted cluster breakout or cluster opening there i didn't really leave myself with any shot so let's see if shane is going to once again capitalize it's a lot it's a lot tougher it's a lot it's a it's a it's a much more trickier rock this time because all the other rocks the common denominator was that the balls were really open there wasn't much problem to solve except for rock three year where he played a brilliant shot to break out the six from the cluster the rocks almost lead like a cosmo all right not too bad good opening shot there by sheen he has the 4, he has the 6, he has the 5, he has the 2. I guess it's safe to say that he's going to have to try to clear out down at that quadrant. He's already down into that area, so it's best that he can just knock in a couple of balls here. Not too bad. Friendly bump there. To, on the 5 to hold for position on the 6. 
He's trying to create an angle here where he can get under the 7. So let's see what he does here. Maybe he's trying to knock out the 7. Oh. Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear. Shane was trying to go in behind the 7. To knock it from behind. But it just... It just barely passed the 7. And with that speed... That is Sheen's official first blunder. Scratching. Brutal mistake. Could definitely cost him. Considering that I'm 3-1 down. Just taking a moment. To just assess the rock. What's the best decision here? How do I actually get out? I have a chance. I have to choose the correct opening shot here. Anything less than an opening shot. Even though I have an insurance on the 7. I don't think Shane's going to get the opportunity to get a ball in and to get that 7. So that's my insurance there. I've just got to try to make certain that I don't play any tricky position here. It's not too bad. It's pretty good. Little tricky. It's a little tricky. Because I'm stretching over the table and bridging over the one ball. So that 12 ball that I would have loved to have right now is no longer available. You see that I'm looking at it now. I'm stretching too far. I cannot see the 10 that is all the way down there. And there's a thin cut on the 14. I have the 15 into the side. But it's a little thin. So the cue ball is going to be a little bit heavy coming off the side rail because of how thin it is. It's a very acute cut shot into the side. So I don't have much options. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try to bump the 8 maybe. To try to hold position for the 12. Oh, I just passed the 8. Maybe played a little bit too much right spin there. So I'm, I am in some trouble. Even though I can see the 10. But how do I actually get back onto the 14? I'm going to have to use some side spin to spin a couple of rails. Maybe try to draw into the side rail and back out. It's a tricky, tricky position. So let's see here. Looks like I'm eyeing up the cut. I know I can go for a shot like this because that 7 ball... Is an insurance it only has one pocket which is where I'm shooting at at the moment so if she doesn't land perfectly on the five he won't be able to land onto the seven so I'm just hoping that that plays good in my hands here so I'm going for the thin cut onto the 12 oh but that's way overcut you would have almost never believed that someone could actually overcut an extreme con extreme thin cut shot like that but that's a bad miss and that is obviously going to be blunder number three blunder number one scratch on the break blunder number two failed safety blunder number three miss position or miss cut shot so three mistakes, three crucial mistakes that has safely, it is safe to say that those three cluster, three mistakes is what pretty much have me in this predicament at the moment. Shane tried to play a witty little shot there by trying to play position onto the seven on the short side. And like I said earlier, if he doesn't get a good angle on the five, he may not be able to get back onto the seven. So he's going to opt to take the tough, thin cut here on the 7. He should make it. And it guarantees, guarantees him automatic position on the 5. Oh, he has overcut the shot. Oh no, he has not. What a brilliant shot there by Shane. That almost looked like it missed the pocket. But it hit the near inside jaw. And it helped him perfectly. In putting that seven that was an incredible shot there by Shane once again he's coming up with the goods every single time so far he has not shown any signs of weakness looking powerful looking confident looking ready to 
safely say whitewash me it is something that i think that he's been trying to do for a very very long time and i think it's so it's, i think it's a number that we're both aiming to do we are both aiming to whitewash each other at some point in our career it's gonna be a tough task but i'm hoping that the cameras will be on when that day arrives now shane has a tough part here on the one he can't see the five obviously i maybe thought that he should have gone for a safety here instead but he's in full he's in full offensive mode here took on the tough part and missed so this is not looking too good for Shane. That would have been Shane's first official blunder. I wouldn't call a break and not putting a ball a blunder. But Shane literally has made his first blunder. And it's a chance for Apex Elenio. Looking at the options here. I have a thin cut onto the 12, doesn't really guarantee much position. I can't see the combo, it's a little tricky though. Because I have to hit that 10 ball perfectly and I also have to negotiate. You can see there that I know I can make the combo but where will the 14 ball go after the pot? I'm also weighing up the kick option here. Because with the kick I can perhaps leave, uh, I can actually leave sheen a bit tough so i could go for the kick but i've decided to just go for the combo it's a tricky gotta watch out for that 14 where is it gonna go after the combo nice soft roll here oh that's perfect that's really nice that is really nice really really nice here now i'm stretching i'm gonna perhaps need a bridge I'm a little short i'm about five feet four inches tall guys so it's gonna be hard to really reach this ball because i'm right-handed if i was left-handed it would have been so much easier and then position onto this 12 all the way up to this end rail here is going to be crucial if i get anything too difficult it might be a bit challenging to get back onto the eight so you can see there that i'm looking that i just need to catch maybe just above the side rail here just above the side pocket if i can catch there that would be good a little bit of left spin here would be ideal it's a bit thick i catch not top side but below the side pocket which is even better so now all i have to do here is just knock in this 12. looks like the angle is very steep so i'm gonna have to go probably two rails behind the one to play a position for the adjacent pocket here but not too bad perfect really nice shot there perfect shot there by apex Alenio. i could not hold for the side i could have perhaps played for the pocket where the five is but it's a little bit tricky I've, it would have been very speed sensitive so just letting go that cue ball and just allowing it to take his natural path with a little bit of help in sides landing perfectly on the eight and for the first rock to get on the board, Apex Elenio has deposited the 8. So a nice little hustle there. Thanks to Shane for that unfortunate uh, miss on that one. He played a great shot there. He actually scratched in the rock. So I think he made two blunders. He scratched. I didn't capitalize. He played a brilliant shot. A brilliant cut shot onto the seven landing a little bit cheeky on the five he didn't go for the defensive option of just wedging me behind the five he went for the top part on the one and unfortunately missing the one and leaving me with a slight opening to get on the board so i'm now trailing sheen by three racks to one Guys, if you're enjoying the match so far, please be sure to help me to get the channel out there. Share this on your social media platforms. Share it in your pool communities. Lots of great talents are here in Jamaica and we are just working really hard trying to get ourselves out there. I'm hoping that I can get a chance to meet some of you guys soon and very soon in the future. 
and showcase my talent live. So yet another unsuccessful break. This time I didn't scratch like in rack one. But I didn't get a ball down and that's going to be a problem. Because once the table is just meagerly open, Shane is going to surgically get himself out of any trouble that he's in so here we go Shane is just walking around the table and just assessing possible problem errors he already has his op the opening shot in mind he's gonna be going for the solids so just potting this two there's a bit of check sides coming out nicely has position on the five six is going to be a little tricky so Let's see what he does here. Oh, he tries to just knock the 15 there. So that's not bad. Friendly nudge onto the 15, giving him two options here. He can knock in the 6 and play position for the 5 into the side, which is what he's looking at at the moment. Or if he wants, he could actually knock in the 5 with a soft stun and hold position for the 6. He's decided to go for the initial option. Not too bad there. Shane is really playing well. What can you do if your opponent is just running out, taking every chance that they get? He still has some problems to solve though because he seems to have that four ball that is blocked by the 14 so how is he gonna get out let us see here he's gonna knock the five in draw into the side rail oh no he decided not to go for the side rail he just plays with stun pure stun or pure center ball there i'm not sure if this was the actual intent i'm not sure if that's the nine ball i think that's the one ball maybe that's the one ball that's all the way down there he's very close to it so I'm not sure if it's not available he decided to go for the tough cut on the seven to the side so let's see how Shane goes about this one it's an interesting option obviously if he's not looking at the one it is obvious that it cannot be played or it's too close so he's going for the seven into the side oh no oh, that's not good that's not good it's still a very close match there's not there's not gonna be a runaway train here Shane missing that seven or playing bad position onto the one ball opening up the window for apex selenia to get back on the board again so please the 14 a bit of check sides tricky tricky position I can see the 13 it seems my body language doesn't suggest that there is anything much to worry about here I have the 10 I have the 13 it seems let's see all right so it looks like I'm going down I have the 13 so I can either roll forward or stop the stun follow here is a combination available see i'm having a look at the combo here also looking at the 15. gotta be a little careful here because we have already seen so far in this very clinical match between shane and i there is minimal mistakes being made you can literally count the amount of mistakes made on one hand and so far the score is 3-1 so stun drawing that's not bad that is really good that is really good so stun drawing landing perfectly here onto the 11 or is that the 13 no it is the 11 ball a little bit off angle so i'm not sure if i can get a clean stop or i may have to stun a little bit using the angle to hold for the nine looks like a stop shot here 
Oh, perfect. Really nice. Minimal movement on the cue ball. Hit the like button, guys, if you love the action that is going on at the moment. Believe me when I tell you, sometimes when I watch back these matches and I'm commentating on these matches and I look at where I'm coming from, how I started this game, how I learned the amount of whooping that I've gotten over the years, I've lost so many times, it is unbelievable. But to get to this level, I'm very, very proud of myself. I've won many tournaments mm -hmm. and I'm just proud to just be where I'm at here. Now here I'm measuring up a natural two rail part. So I'm just going to try to go behind the 15 here. And I have a very large positional window. I could play for the top right. But the cue ball naturally wants to go two rail. So I'm going to be using a bit of left spin here and helping the cue ball. Oh, try to get a little bit cheeky. Try to get a little bit cheeky there. Oh, this is trouble. This is trouble. This is trouble. These are common mistakes, positional mistakes made. I think the natural thing to do there would have probably been... I'm not even sure if I was trying to use some check sides to hold for the top right. But based on where the cue ball has landed, it's obvious that I was trying to play a cheeky little shot to get behind the 15. Now I have a very thin cut here and the cut angle actually leads all the way to that, to that top left corner pocket. So even if I try to go for the cut, it's going to be a little bit risky. You can see that I'm already aligning the bang shot here. It's going to be a tough bank shot here. Seems like I'm going for the side pocket. Okay, so I'm going for the side. Don't have much option. I'm going to have to go for the bank. So it's just all out commitment here. Let's see if I can actually get into this here. Let's see. Oh, so close. But yet so far. Trouble, trouble, trouble in paradise. Apex Selenia got... The ideal chance here. Messing up again. Missing that important shot. That important positional shot. And that's really what is now going to be creating a three rack advantage for Sheen. The score line that you're seeing here is all a result of Sheen's excellent gameplay. But I've had my chances. Well, at least I've gotten a chance to reduce the deficit. And now I've failed to capitalize on this. So Shane is just going to knock this four ball in. Let's see how he plays position. Okay, so he's coming around two rail a bit heavy. Is he going to scratch? Oh, that would be brutal. Not sure why he played the shot so hard. Or was it that he used a bit too much spin? It's possible. But what a scratch that would be. From that position there, he had multiple choices. He played the two rail option. You can see him just taking a walk away from the table to just gather himself a little bit here. Because usually what happens once you play for a particular shot and you land up a bit awkward then sometimes you rush into the shot and you end up missing so just taking a little walk 10 second 20 second walk away from the table setting himself and composing and just knocking that eight in to take a 4-1 lead so couple of mistakes made by apex if I'm counting correctly, maybe about two, one scratch break, one missed safety attempt, and one positional error so far. And it is safe to say statistically and analytically, those three mistakes 
could be attributed to those to that three rock deficit that i am now under now as i said guys i do not have the full match so there's going to be an aspect of the video where i'm going to be jumping to the beginning of another rock i'm not sure what happened to the footage i recorded the whole match but during my upload process i may have accidentally deleted um some of the footage from the memory card but it is safe to say that you would not have wasted your time in watching the video that you're currently watching at the moment certainly there's something to take from this particular match here a successful break there for shane but still some problems to solve 14 4 and 12 nasty little cluster there on the left side reel Pretty much that's it. Let's see if Shane has an opening shot. He has an opening shot on the 9. Uh, let's see what other options he has here. He doesn't have much options really. I think he only has an option on the 9. He doesn't really have much of a choice here. So he's going to have to go for that 9. He's most likely going to try to hold position for the 11. To try to break out the cluster of the 14 and the 4. Oh no. It was a little bit thin so he could not hold position for the 11 it was too thin or was he trying to go into the one i'm not so certain but clearly he has fallen out of line a little bit here oh no he can see the 11 so he has a thin cut he's gonna try to go for the breakout i'm assuming that was the best time oh he tried he really did he really did try to break out but oh not enough spin there so shane attempted to disturb that left cl that cluster on the left let's see how he goes about business here not sure if he has a clean look on the 13 can he slither past the eight sure can he do the cut into the side what is he looking at he's looking at the 13 yes he is looking at the 13 so there's a slither of hope to squeeze that 13 pass let's see if he can settle down earlier he missed a one ball that was almost as tough as this shot here oh he passed the eight but it overcut and yes yet again another scratch so that's two scratch for shane and with that scratch he ultimately opens the door for me to solve my only problem on the table with the group of solid balls that is probably the worst thing that can happen because he would have been under complete control had he not scratched it would have been a whole different story because i would have to work really hard to get that four out but now i can because i have ball in hand so the stun following here really nice last time Shane scratched I didn't capitalize on the error or at least I, I tried but I didn't get I tried to play a cheeky positional shot on the 15 and end up with a bank shot which I missed but let's hope that I can just wrap this rack up here it would be heartbreaking to see that chain goes up by five racks to one so far three errors made by both players sheena scratched twice had an unsuccessful break missed a pot i have played a miss bank miss position scratch break I think I can safely say that I've made more less errors in this match, but I'm still down because Shane is playing perfectly. Very composed player. Very talented player. I'm hoping that he will definitely get what he's looking for as he continues to play this game and improve. It's been 11 years that we've been battling it out. So Apex Lenny continuing his run here knocking this two ball in trying to come up maybe for the six 
I'll come for the one instead. It's not too bad. I was trying to come for the one. It's not enough. So that's left me a little bit on the 50 yard line for the six. Cheeky little shot. I may have to try to cut the six. Maybe try to slide past the eight. It's not looking too good. It was a position like this that I got earlier in the rack that I didn't capitalize on. These last two balls are usually the toughest shots because you have to get perfect position on your key ball here. Nice draw shot here. Oh dear, oh dear. Yet again. This, is, this has been the common denominator. You can see here just a shake of the head. Just a shake of the head. It's a deep side here. Just keep falling out of line. Just an inch more. And I would have been dead perfect. I've landed. Almost in the same position that I landed on the 15 in rock number 4. Now again I'm going to have to go for a bank. Ah. Tough, tough, tough. Tough, tough, tough layout here. Put myself in a really nasty position and it's just the playing for the bank here doesn't guarantee position on the eight and you've got to be very much aware of how the table plays you can see i'm double checking and double checking plus i'm gonna have to be cutting this bank shot so i'm cutting into the line of aim so i've got to be aware and compensate for the throw oh dear oh dear that is absolutely horrific Yet again, unable to capitalize. And this is really something that is of concern. Upon commentating on this video, I'm playing way better because this match was done about a couple weeks ago, maybe a month, give or take. And I've had the footage, of, I've just not had, had the time to really show, show you guys the video. But, oh, what? has happened here what has sheen done here oh this is trouble this is trouble he has the 10 it's not that much of a trouble i think he was trying to get out for the 13 he has the 10 it's a little tricky it's not a e it's a easy it's an easy shot when you're when you when you're leading so let's see if sheen can go about that oh no okay so that's officially sheen's third blunder third miss so he's making mistakes he's playing really well but he's not playing perfect because a shot like that definitely is not one that you expect him to miss leaving me tough here dead straight in on the six gonna have to settle down here i've got my chance a chance that i never thought that i would have gotten focusing here oh nice sweet stroke there on the six taking a deep sigh wow nice shot there nice recovery bad mistake by shane shane got the chance to capitalize on my error and didn't i got a bit lucky there i have to say because in the first three or four rocks shane played almost next to perfect so i got a bit lucky there because i should not have seen back that table but as I said guys, I'm gonna I think it's about sometime anytime about now you should see that I skip to a new rack. I think the score is going to shift to about 5-3. You'll see the shift on the screen in a moment or in a few minutes. So it's 4-2. I'm still in the game. I've failed to run out a few clinical racks that would have really shifted the momentum in my favor. But just getting lucky 
from someone else's mistakes can also change the momentum and the trajectory of the match. Based on how Shane is playing, any opportunity that I get now or that he gets now, he most likely will capitalize on them. So let's see. Going for the break here. I've not have yet to have a successful break. Let's see if I can actually get one down here. Trying to hit that second ball as square as possible. I finally got one down. But oh dear. A scratch again. And it is in the same pocket as I had scratched. Let me try to grab a replay here for you. And compare this break with the first break. It is almost very similar the difference is that I got a ball down on the break here just sitting back on the stool here on the chair looking a little bit exasperated cannot believe I'm in disbelief as to how unlucky I can be I cannot get I don't seem to be able to get a decent break on a ball down and that's really what's putting me behind and Shane is so clinical so surgical on the table it is almost like it's difficult to really get back to the table here you have to be really hoping and praying that he falls out of line in some way shape or form to actually get back to the table because it's a really open table open layout here for Shane so he's going for the four Nice clean cut, knocking out that two. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. I know he looks a little bit concerned though. Because he's not going down on the two. He's looking to see if he could slide past the eight. Angle is a bit steep. So it looks like... He's going to run into the 8. He looks a little concerned. He's going to try to be a little bit witty with the cue ball here. He could go for the tough cut on the 3, on the 5. Let's see here. He goes, goes going for the 2. Oh. He was trying to, def he was trying to escape the 8. And as a result... He has left the two ball sitting on the precipice of the pocket. Trouble, trouble in paradise here for Sheen. Open table here for Apex. Stunning across. Can I finally capitalize without being given a chance or given more than one chance? It's a tricky little shot there a while ago. I think I've left myself a little bit not in the best position. But I can get out. It's still okay. So I'm going to have to play with some side spin here. Oh, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Actually landed on the 50-yard line. The last time I saw a shot like this was in rap number 4. Where I landed a little bit nasty on the 15. I'm not sure. Can I see the 11? Can it pass? I don't look concerned. Because I'm actually looking at my body language. So I'm, I'm still moving confidently around the table. Not sure what I tried to measure up there a while ago. Alright. So I'm going, it looks like I'm going for a two-way shot here. I can't see the 11. So I'm going to try to bank the 12. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call the bank and try to play position. Okay, so I think I know what I actually did. I try, I went, I, I'm went. i trying to bank the, the 12. And I'm going to try to hide the cue ball behind the 8. Because the jump is going to be difficult. Oh no, I called the bank. But then I changed my mind and tried to go for the side. So I think that's what I initially tried to measure up. I was actually measuring up. Can Shane be able to jump the shot? 
the eight ball is so far away from the cue ball that's why I was actually measuring up the jump but I'm not sure I think I misled myself because I actually called the bank and then I guess in the interim I actually changed and play a safety so this is a good shot here leaving Shane it works out really nice that the 12 ball actually bl blocks the possible bank shot you can see Shane just looking at if maybe he could squeeze the bank he's called it into the side he's looking to see maybe that that he could bank and follow oh this is tough this is tricky tough decision here for Shane looks like he calls a different pocket oh no he calls a different pocket he's going for the aggressive cut this is difficult this is absolutely difficult and the the the, the cut shot offers a scratch into the side but the 12 ball may just help him let's see if maybe he can really get down and nail this shot in and still stay on the table this would be an incredible shot if Shane can stay on the table oh dear oh dear what a great shot there by Shane but the cue ball went two rails and scratched into the opposing side pocket that is so very unfortunate there for Shane that was an incredible attempt to cut that beyond 60 degree so apex Elena now needs to find a way to get out taking care of the problem immediately i've called the 14 into the corner so i'm just gonna try to roll it off really nice if i didn't make it i would block the pocket for the eight and i would leave sheen absolutely tough tougher than you could possibly leave him because then he would actually have a cut to this bottom right pocket there but in conclusion of that rack i actually did complete the rack so there you can see there's a switch i'm now in the middle of another rack here so the score is now 5-4 i did in fact win that rack now shane broke off and as i said guys i lost some of the footage So I'm in the middle of another rack here and Shane is leading five racks to four. I'm not sure whether I broke and didn't did make a ball or he broke. Cause the score was 4-2. Shane won a rack when we in the interim. So I think that maybe this is Shane's attempted break and run. Again, very disappointing here. Shin is just playing perfect pool. Shin is playing really well. And he's on, he's about to get on the hill. So let's see how he goes about this. Oh, ooh. oh dear, oh dear. Try to be a little bit cheeky using some inside spin here. So this is a chance, a chance to draw level. So Sheen has given me about three or four of these chances so far. I feel to capitalize on two. And I got lucky on one. Oh, trouble. Bad positional play there by Apex. Bad positional play. Cue ball overruled a little bit there. Well, not a little bit, a lot actually. Oh, this is trouble. Shane's five ball is just sitting in the pocket waiting to be pocketed. have the 10 it seems I'm peeping so it has a slight opening let's see if I can squeeze this one past the 12 oh nice really nice 
obviously can see that I'm taking some deep breaths because obviously I'm not playing as clinical as I normally would. I'm knocking in a couple of balls, but I'm not capitalizing. I'm falling out of line too many times. So this could be trouble. Looks like I'm changing my mind here. Looking at the 14, looking at the 15. Just taking a moment, just walking around the table. Looking at the best options. Decided to go back to the 14. So I'm going to knock it in, obviously, and just try to come down table. So top spin here. Come nicely, float into position. Not too bad. I have the 12, I have the 15. So let's see here, Apex Elenio is trying to surgically get him way out, get his way out of this truck, out of this predicament. Trying to pot his way out of it, out of this insurgency. Playing some cheeky little pool here. Positions are not as clean, but it's still okay. Shot making is what's helping me. I'm coming around here. Just looking at the three rail part here. It's going to just try to get into that area. If I can get into that zone right there. I could work on getting onto the nine. I'm going to naturally just cut this ball here. And go three rails. Control the speed. Bumping off the third rail. And maintaining an angle really nice could have been a little bit closer though a little bit closer would have made it a little bit easier to get onto the nine but it's going to be interesting to see how i get position on the nine to get back onto the eight so easy pot here on the 11 but let's see how the cue ball lands up here cutting it in wanting an angle yielding an angle i haven't gotten the angle Oh, you can see, exasperated. Once you see, yeah, there it is. I've not wanted the cue ball to be just about there. So now I'm going to have to do some sort of force. I'm going to have to force this cue ball. I'm jacking up and I don't have an angle. This can be very chaotic. Oh, this is not looking very good at all. But let's see. Jacking up, committing to the shot. oh that's not too bad really good but from one shot to the next i'm now on the reel and this is one of the shots that i don't really like these kind of shots where you're bridging off the reel and you can't really get into the cue ball once you have to play with topspin you have to be very careful and i actually did a video where it's called the Niels fine shooters drill it's a drill that teaches you how to actually make shots like these. I haven't done the drill in a while, but I think that it's something that I really need to get back to. Maybe for like a couple of hours, because here you see where I missed this eight ball to draw level. Oh dear, this is no good. Very, very disappointing there. Very, very disappointing there. You can see I'm very exasperated, very irritated by the fact that I left myself on the nine i think the problem was the miss on the eight but it's it was really the position on the 11 that got me on the nine and this gives sheen a chance to actually go on the hill should have been a level score i've fought my way back into this match and failed to capitalize here and now sheen is going to take the opportunity to go on the hill Shane eventually went on to win the match I think he did a break and run if I remember correctly I think he did a break and run for the last game and it's just one of those things guys that you know some of these victories or some of these losses they will really dampen your mood it will dampen your confidence but many mistakes were made 
you can see I'm still smiling I'm still smiling regardless you can see I'm just over there in the corner just assessing how smoother and more finesse the stroke should have been but nevertheless guys it was in fact a really nice match to commentate on a really nice match to watch back I really enjoyed it and I hope you also enjoyed it yourself so you won't be able to see the entire match but I believe this was the break and run that Shane did to end me 7-4 we've had a couple of battles after that but so far I think I've gotten closer into keeping the score close with Shane alright guys so until then until next time I'll see you in another video and keep on practicing and improving your game to the next level okay take care bye bye